Dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, in this third Sunday of Advent, we continue to reflect the mission of John the Baptist. We are taking a break from Mark's Gospel and we read in this Sunday from John's Gospel. We are reflecting from John's Gospel chapter 1. Unlike the Synoptic Gospels, in John's Gospel, we do not find the infancy narrative of Jesus. Jesus already pre-existed. He was with his father. And he came to this world to dispel the darkness. He is the light. And John the Baptist was sent to testify him. Here in the Gospel, chapter 1, verses 6 to 8, we read, A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. So John was sent from God to testify to the Messiah. And John was already known. The Jews sent their priests and the Levites to ask him who he is. There we read from in the same chapter, chapter 1, verses uh, 19 to 28, the testimony of John. They asked him, are you Messiah? He denied. He said, I am not Messiah. They asked him, are you Elijah? He denied. Are you a prophet? He said, no. So they asked him, who are you then? We are sent to know who, we, who you are. So John the Baptist quoted from Isaiah and he tells, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord. We also reflected this passage from Mark's Gospel last Sunday. He described himself as the voice of one crying out in the desert. And there were also Pharisees who were sent. And they asked John the Baptist, if you are not Messiah, if you are not a prophet or Elijah, why are you baptizing? And there John gives a very uh, good answer which shows his mission, his relationship with Jesus. John said, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize. Jesus, the Messiah, is already there. He is among you, but you do not recognize him. The one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. John's humility is also seen here. John has a special mission to prepare the people for the Messiah. He did it with humility and fidelity. Although people were recognizing him as a prophet, he kept his mission. He was faithful to his mission. Dear friends, Advent is a season of preparation for Christmas. And here John the Baptist helps us to understand that Jesus is among us. He already came to this world and he is among us. We also not know that he will come again in the second coming. We need to recognize Jesus who is among us. This third Sunday of Advent is also known as Gaudete Sunday, which means Gaudete, the Latin word means rejoice. 
which is taken from the entrance antiphon of the Sunday. How can we be really happy? How can we find joy? Where is the true happiness? There is also lasting joy. There is also joy that do not last. In the midst of several wars, economic problems, ecological disasters, how do we find true happiness? John the Baptist gives us the message that we need to come to God. We need to come to Jesus, the Messiah. John pointed out everyone to Jesus, the Messiah. Dear friends, it is not in the absence of war. It is not in the absence of sickness. It is not in the absence of problems that we find joy. It is in encountering the Lord. It is in having the union with the Lord that we have the true happiness. As we await for Christmas, we receive this joy in our heart. May Jesus give us the true joy as we wait for his birth. God bless you all.